Hello, welcome to End Time Daily Watch. I am Brother Asana Daily. Today, I want to talk about simplicity and avoidance of pressure. A lot of us have given in to societal pressure and it has bounced back to make life very burdensome, tiring, and, un- and uninteresting for us. But we can actually retrace our steps back. How did our parents actually lived that they were so healthy, they lived so long, even men in their 80s were still giving birth to children. Our forefathers used to give birth to children till they die. They were so active in bed. <laughs> These people enjoyed life. I used to tell my mom, my mom is 80 years old, this year, I used to tell her that you people enjoyed life. You enjoyed the the sweetness of this life. Now everything is bad. It's only technology that is in this world that I enjoy that they do not enjoy. Just the difference is technology, and technology is actually here with a lot of evils. In fact, it is doing more good than harm if care is not taken. So what am I trying to say? Our parents lived so well. They enjoyed life. They eat good food. They had no much pressure. And because they had so much time, they had very large families. I'm not talking about the ones that uh, were polygamous. Even the ones that had just one wife. They had large families. They gave birth to a lot of children. How did these people manage to survive? And we could say they lived primitive lifestyle, that according to your definition. But me, if I can go back to that time, I would be very, very happy. As a matter of fact, I am on my way back there. There are things I have modified in my life. And I want to share some with you. Let's read Philippians 4, 11 to 13. One of the commonest verses that people quote, but... People try to avoid what actually led to this declaration of Paul in the Bible. Philippians 4, 11 to 13. Not that I speak in respect of words, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be raised, and I know how to be bad. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. This is all many people know. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. I can do all things. I can do all things. The all things, let me shock you. The all things also include being hungry and being in need. That is what Paul is saying. Before he said, I can do all things. He is saying that I know how to abound. I know how to cope in every situation. How can you cope in all situations? In this generation where we have so much concern. You have data subscription, Netflix, app subscription, bills. You have even water today that we we used to get from wells, from streams, from personal tabs. Everything is based on subscription. So many bills, so many pressures. Even the U.S. that a lot of people want to go, it's a dream to a lot of people to go there, that people even risk their lives to go, people go to Europe, even though they see dead bodies on the road, They don't care. They want to go. They want to pass through Libya upon the danger because people see it as a dream. Do you know that a lot of people are homeless? There are more homeless people in the West than in the whole of Africa. That is the truth. A lot of people don't know. We have a very simple lifestyle here. Very simple. As a matter of fact, people can travel to different places, 
in Nigeria and in a lot of African countries, you don't know anybody. You just pick your bag and you just travel. And you will find someone who will house you. Life is simple. It is just of reason that people are beginning to become afraid. And one of the reasons, one of the causes is the internet. The internet has influenced us a, a lot of pressure these days. The internet is putting a lot of pressure on people today. So many bills, but you can simplify your life. You see me a lot of times, I wear this white. I have a number of them. Do you know that I have some of these whites I wear are uh, close to 10 years old. <laughs> some of them are close to 10 years old. But I still wear them. <laughs> they are never out of fashion. Uh, I wear them. Um, the trousers I have, they are my clothes, they are never, they will never run out of fashion. I wear them and they are relevant to me. I don't know about you. So how can you simplify your life? Simplify your life so that you can do all things according to what Paul said, through Christ that gives you the strength. How can you do all things? If you allow pressure to push you, you will find life uninteresting. I'm a very happy person. I'm a very, very happy person. If you are close to me, you will not know when I have money and when I don't have. Because money doesn't add value to my life. Right from when I was still young, I used to say money is honorary paper stamped by the government. And that is the way I still see it today. There was a time I used to train myself how to give everything away. And the way I have trained myself, the value, my values in life have also streamlined my value for money and the things of this world. I'm not saying you should go to that extreme because me, I know it is extreme, especially giving everything away. It is extreme. I'm not asking you to go to that extreme. But what I'm saying is that you can learn some things and simplify your life. Let me ask you a question. If your salary gets seized in one month, or maybe you have a problem with your bank account, you were not paid, or things are hard, you didn't get contracts, for those of you who are self-employed, or you don't have money to... When you're supposed to have it, the money didn't come. How will life be to you? How will you feel? Will it look as if the whole world is turning upside down against you? Do you have savings that can keep you running? If you have savings, how long can that savings run? Is your life so complicated that you... Is your life so complicated that life will become impossible for you to continue to live without some things? Paul is saying that I know how to abound in everywhere and in everything. I have lived in want. I know how to live in want. I know how to live in plenty. Some people, if they have plenty, the money starts controlling them. Some, if they don't have, everybody will know that they don't have. Even just exchanging pleasantries, greeting someone, they will pour out their problems. It's not so. How you live in your life? Do you live life that is so complicated? Tomorrow we're going to continue from this. Thank you. God bless you. Please share this video with someone. Please subscribe to this channel. Hosanna E.E. TV. And also invite someone to subscribe. Don't forget that we are on a journey to the place of eternal rest. Don't complicate your life to the point of missing out or becoming too worried to the point that 
instead of obeying Jesus Christ and living a good Christian life, you start living like every other person in the world. This is the essence. This is the essence of these messages. Thank you. God bless you. Even as you follow this series. Even as you follow this series. God bless you. Bye. Even as you follow this series, God bless you. Bye.